Hi guys, it's Bella reporting live from the trailer, just enjoying a beautiful Sunday afternoon while reading a very spooky book called Ghosts of Goldfield and Totopah. I picked it up on our latest adventure, which you'll see next in the clip after Mom and Dad update you about the XTR, but uh, I hope you guys enjoy as I take a Sunday snooze, I guess. I think I'm tired. Okay, love you, Mom and Dad. Back to you. Okay. Anywho. Well, it's been a while, so we figured we'd come back and say what we've changed with the trailer so far. Mm hmm And maybe some good things and some bad things, and then where it's headed next. Yep. Yep. Well, we've gone on two trips so far with the XTR, and we've added a couple different things. As you can see, we added twinkly lights in here, which is really fun because the overhead light is definitely bright. So this is a lot more soothing at night. Of course, at night, you got to have the night mode. Woo! There we go. Oh. Look at that ambience. There we go. <laughs> That's always nice at night, so you don't have to have the full light glaring. Yeah. We did the bedding. So we got a heated blanket for the winter when we went on our um, January right, trip. Let's go back. Oh, there we go. Let's get it back up here. Doesn't really need much other than that. We just had to get some bedding in here and cover the windows. Yeah. It was pretty much ready to go. So Yeah, the drape has really helped. It's um darkening too, so it's just like the ones on the side, but thankfully it covers that one for privacy. So um, then on the outside, uh really a lot of it was up front. We put the t a spare tire carrier up there with just a um generic one off a boat trailer. Yep. And so it sits on the front rack now and also a propane mount up there. Mm -hmm. And then we wedged the <clears> chairs <throat> up there too. So that's really our whole camp set up and I will put that all up down there. And that front rack has everything we need as soon as we get to camp. So that's pretty convenient. And we installed the brake controller up there, an auto brake up in the battery box. Mm -hmm. And what else? Put the awning over there. Oh um, yeah. We have that an awning was in now. the first video, yeah. So we mounted the awning on the driver's side there, and I actually I don't think we've used that either because it's been it's been windy on the trips cold. we've gone and cold. Too. <clears> it, and hasn't, cold. it hasn't really been hot. So. so let's go to the good and the bad. So we mm -hmm. wrote these down so we don't forget all of them. So if I got first for the good, um, the towing and it goes anywhere. So I mean sometimes you especially at night if you don't look back and see the clearance lights you don't even know it's there because it's just pulling along. I mean, kind of silently and effortlessly, at least with our tow vehicle. So yeah, we got the convenience of it too. Instead of having to always shove everything in the car when we're going camping, we can leave. Uh, like for the last two trips, we left our cold weather gear in mm -hmm. the um, cubbies up here. Yeah. So all that stuff's already in here. It's we all just, organized. It's basically it's just packing food. Yeah. Yeah. Essentially, that's we we realize what we need for our trips now gone on a couple trips already in this so this has really been helpful to kind of experience what we do need and don't need so um but yeah and convenience wise too as far as putting it in the garage because yeah lot, almost every other model even the smaller models like uh the little guys the tabs and that they they aren't gonna they weren't gonna fit in our garage Okay, so on to the beds. Uh, not too much. We almost had to sit here and nitpick. The Most of the issues were initial issues when it arrived. Yeah. And luckily those were taken care of, and all of that had to do with the electric brakes uh, mm -hmm. package that they installed. So between going back and forth and getting the parts, that was all taken care of, and I did that on my own. It wasn't that big of a deal. So yeah. after that, we have uh, the galley seal on back, there's only one rubber strip and the way it seals uh, we're not worried about water at all in the mm -hmm. desert but when we go off-roading it fills with like layers of dust uh, yeah. our vehicles do too we're not new to off-roading in the desert or anything but the galley seems uh, probably just because it's behind the wheels there it seems to kick up into that seal so what i'll probably do is put a second rubber seal on the top of the door flange and then it'll have the normal seal on the bottom so both of those will come together hopefully mm -hmm. keep a little more dust dunk what else the condensation uh is something new to us too because we don't camp that much in the cold so we put the yeah. condensation down but a lot of people probably just think uh that's a normal issue that comes with these so we obviously we learned even when it's cold to crack the fan vent 
you know, leave the fan off, but crack the vent so the the moisture can yeah, get out. Yeah, so they can the, escape. The little uh, included vents on the side we thought would be enough, but it's not. And then also, uh, if you don't do that, the condensation builds up really fast on the sides of the window, right where you you tend to hit with like your abdomen when you're rolling around at night, mm -hmm. and you'll hit a cold, wet wall, and it'll shock the hell out of you. <laughs> So we yeah. also learned to take off like our heavy clothing, like our um, hoodies and our jeans. And instead of shoving them down by our feet, like usual in the dog nest, <laughs> we start, <laughs> we start piling them up against the door. Yeah. And those act like an air dam because then you wouldn't get that compensation. But lastly, before we get onto that adventure footage. Yeah. Adventure Bella. Yeah. We're thinking about doing a solar panel on the one that we rented before purchasing the one that we own now, um, had a solar panel and it really helped, um, keep the battery top yeah. off. So that'll probably be the first thing we do next is add on to that. And then, and then definitely fuel tanks are actually latest, um, trip that we did up North to central Nevada. We did a lot of um, distance, so obviously we haven't done distance like this in a long time, so we definitely need gas. There's not a lot of gas stations, and they're in the weirdest parts that don't make sense, so a lot of places are unreachable with our um, vehicle, so we definitely need a gas tank if we're going to be going distance, just to have something to yeah. be... So the gas can mount is definitely up there on the priorities too. And then we also have a bas roof basket. Um, mm -hmm. But we can't just put anyone up there because the, it won't clear the garage then, depending on how high the lip of the basket is. So mm -hmm. that's a little bit later, but that would be real nice to have some room up there. And then we mm -hmm. can uh, put all the gas tank, we can put all the tool recovery tools and the tracks and everything up there too. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. but, I mean, it's ready to go. It's yeah, good to go wherever we set. take it. At this point, we're just adding bells and whistles pretty much. You just know, to make just it to more convenient it. or yeah. something whatever feel like home yeah but all um, right but yeah that's about it you ready to check out that beautiful adventure footage roll that adventure i can't <laughs> <laughs> roll that <laughs> i can't get that <laughs> roll that beautiful adventure, adventure footage. footage there you go, go. <laughs>
Oh, okay. Let's go turn the page. All right. The death of King Pittman. <laughs> I cannot take you seriously right now. <laughs> 